Mr. Horse. I think it's about all set, huh? Pretty quick now. Just think, three week, no pot, no pan, nobody late for meal. Yeah. Well, you're going to be cooking for yourself, ain't you? Hopsing like somebody appreciate Hopsing cooking. He's got a point. No, that ain't exactly what I meant. I mean, you're going to have to be washing pans and pots and dishes and all that anyhow, ain't you? Only a hopsing pan. <laughs> a gold pan, too. Don't have to wash gold pan. Only wash to the gold. <laughs> hopsing, you're just wasting your time. All you're going to do is end up with a handful of blisters. And believe me, you're talking to the blister king in the battle. <laughs> Maybe you look in wrong place. Now, wait a minute, Hop Singh. You may be the best cook in Nevada, but you know miner. You don't know where to find gold. Hop Singh, look where people find gold. Many mine in Miracle Creek. Oh, Hop Singh, them old mines have been mined out years ago. It's just wasting your time prospecting down there. Maybe so. Many men, if they turn one more shovel of dirt, they find gold again. Hop Singh going to turn one more shovel full of dirt. Good luck. Thank you. Come on. You do all the eating. It's a minor name, Hop Sing. Gonna die, go. May become a blister king. Wrong. Hop Singh not only miner on Miracle Creek. Here, boy.
Hello, little friend. Hop's a good cook, huh? Huh? <laughs> Good morning, Missy. My name Hop Singh. What your name? I live on Ponderosa. Where you live? Ponderosa is the biggest ranch in Nevada. Maybe biggest in whole United States. Hop Singh number one cook on Ponderosa. Best cook in Nevada. Hop Singh minor too. Hello, little friend. Hello. Missy? No need be afraid. You're welcome. Ah, yes, I seen far. Ah, yes, I seen far. Blue cake, no like Chinese song. No hurt, hop sing feeling. <laughs> hop sing no like your song either. <laughs> leaf make very good boat. In China, hop sing sell many leaf boats. Ah, yes, I seen far. Time to wash up, Missy. Supper pretty quick. Oh, no, 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 Missy. You soap. Wash your neck, wash ear. For you. Hop sing fix supper pretty quick. cook today. <laughs> Even champion cook make mess. <laughs> Eat before the supper get cold, Missy. <laughs>
take you for bucket. to see you. Come. Come. Sit down. Eat supper before it gets cold. Oh, oh, not so fast. You swallow too fast, you'll not get taste of good food. Hopsing live on Ponderosa. Where you live? Why you not talk to Hopsing? Where you live before you come here? You have pretty locket. Where you get it? What's your name? Missy. <laughs> Missy? Missy what? Just Missy. <laughs> Just Missy? by fire. Keep warm. More coffee, Missy? No, I'm sorry. What kind of a name is that? Chinese name. What's Chinese? Hop Singh. Me Chinese. Hapsing come from China, across the ocean, long time ago. What's the ocean? Ocean is uh, water, salt water, far, far away. China is a big country, very big. Hop Singh get on sailing ship in China. Very high mass. Many sail. China boys sleep below. Ocean, very rough. Ship, make it very hot. Hop Singh, <laughs> get very sick. In the morning, Hop Singh go on deck. See nothing but water. Far as can see. One whole month. Water, water, water. Hop 
Hop Sing is China Boy. China Boy? Chinese? All the same. Hop Sing come on Asia Queen. Long, long time ago. You come here all alone. Why? <laughs> Hop Sing, number one cook on Ponderosa. Every year, number one cook get time off after long up. Last three year, Hop Sing lose money in Fantan House. This year, Hop Sing go prospecting. Number one cook. Number one cook burn meat. Number one time. <laughs> <laughs> well, where's your wife? Hop Sing not marry. Why? Hop Sing China boy. Been here long time. Never have seen one Chinese girl. You know, Missy, until now, you very hard to talk to. Just like try to catch moonbeam in the hand. Trying to catch a moonbeam in your hand. Oh, that's pretty hot scene. <laughs> Morning, Missy. Morning. No. You soak like you tell me. <laughs> Missy, right. Hop sing forget. Wash behind your ears and your neck hard. Why'd you make mud? Mud? You know, with the pan and the dirt. <laughs> That's for gold. Like your locket. Hop Singh wash dirt away. Go is heavy. Sink to bottom of pan. Dirt all wash away. Go is on bottom. Ah. Oh. Not every time, though. <laughs> That's pretty burn. Blue Jay. Why? Why what? Why Blue Jay? That's his name, Blue Jay, like my name, Hop Singh. Like my name, Missy. Missy what? Just Missy. Blue Jay's gone. I'm going to go find him. You wash good. This sure is good. Got any more eggs? Eggs all gone. You gonna make flapjacks? Flour all gone yesterday. Meat gone, bacon gone, everything gone. Well, I guess only thing to do, I go back Ponderosa, get more grub. You gonna go? You're gonna leave me? I promise you. I not go long time. I'll be back soon.
something bother Missy? Why are you so sad? You're gonna leave and never come back. Hopsing, come back real quick. That ironclad promise. Next time you come with me to Ponderosa, meet Mr. Ben Cartwright. He number one boss. He'd be very glad to see you. <laughs> you don't worry me. Missy. 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 Biscuits, 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 biscuits. What are you making up? Oh. I'm making some biscuits. Oh, I can hardly wait. I don't know how to make them. It's just that I want to see how these other fellows do it. Oh, sure. You'd be surprised how many kind of biscuits there are. There's oh. drop biscuits and riddle biscuits and all sorts drop of... Drop biscuits? Must be like those pancakes you made this morning. You drop one and it breaks the plate. Well, I admit, them was a little tough, but I ate my best that early in the morning. Mm. A cup of flour, milk... Did you hear that? <laughs> huh? What? I heard noise in the store. Huh, it's probably a mouth. Did you measure any of that stuff? Oh, I just put it in there and it gets thick. Oh. Yeah, now let's see. Two teaspoons of tater. Tater rat. Tater rat? Tater What the deuce is tater rat? Yeah, that's an awful big mouse. I need to take a look. Hey, I'm saying, come on in. Hello, little Joe. Good to see you. What are you doing back so early? I come back for some more club. Hey, I'm saying, am I glad to see you? I'm seeing not glad to see messy kitchen. Uh, them dishes, I was going to clean them up later. But hey, how about while you're here fixing some biscuits and some fried chicken and green gravy and some of that good stuff, huh? Where Mr. Cartwright? He's from Virginia City. Yeah, the food's better there. Little Joe, here is a list of things Hobson take from storehouse. You take out of my pay when I come back. Well, I thought you took enough stuff to last you for three weeks first time. Enough for one, not for two. Hey, you found another prospector, huh? Oh. Meet very special friend. Yeah, have you found any gold? Oh, gold. Oh. Hey, 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 that's wow. not bad, you know. Hey, look at that. Wow. It's not too th bad. Better than losing pay at the Fantan house. <laughs> Good stuff, yeah. Hey, how about a couple of pies while you're here? Huh? Hobson got to go now. I see you when I come back. Yeah. All right. Good luck. One pie? Hey, Dad, burn it. I want to ask him while he is here about the tater tater rate. Tartar rate. Tartar rate. All you had to do is just take a look in the baking powder can. Baking powder? Uh-huh. How'd you know that? I looked it up in your cookbook. It's right there. Yeah. I found it the other day when I was finding out how the other fellows make biscuits. Yeah? Baking powder. <laughs> what do you know about that? Two teaspoons. Very good. Two teaspoons. <laughs> He'd come back. Hopsing promised, Missy, it'd be quick trip. If Hopsing not come back, where Missy go? Some other place. Where you come from before you come here? Yonder side of the hill. It's a long way from here. You have a family? Yeah. How many? Mom, Pa. Family not know where Missy is? Missy run away. Why? I didn't run away. I just took a long walk. Why? China boy leave China. Why? To see new place? <laughs> but we talk about Missy now, not Hop Singh. When does he go home? I don't want to go home. I want to stay here. I like it here. Hop saying like it here, too. Like, not like, no matter. Ten more day vacation over. I have to go back to Ponderosa. 
become number one cook. Burn meat. <laughs> Not burn meat. Just cook very well done. <laughs> Missy talk pretty good now. Maybe so pretty quick. Missy talk as good as Hop Sing. <laughs> Maybe so. <laughs> Maybe so. <laughs> Here. Wash. Not just hand, not just face, all over. Put on clean clothes. You understand? Oh, yeah. My niece is just some. Missy, very pretty. <sighs> Missy's a China girl now. Hop Singh's got a China girl wife. Hop Singh's got Missy. Wait till you hear. You struck it rich. No, 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 no. Hobson give up prospecting. Hobson going to be married. Married? Surprise, huh? Oh, oh yes, I certainly am. Hobson, very happy man. After marry, Hobson no longer lonely. Wait, 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 where are you going? Hapsing have to go tell Mr. Horse, a little joke. Wait, wait, come, come on and back. Jake. Wait a minute now. Who, who, who's the girl? I mean, wh where'd you meet her? Miracle Creek, at the mine. She a pretty girl. You like her. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm sure I would. I, I, uh, when do I get to meet her? Right now. As soon as you get out of chair and come outside. Because Missy wants to meet honorable number one boss of Ponderosa. <laughs> Missy. Missy! Missy! <laughs> Missy, Hop seems like maybe you run away again. Come, I want you to meet Mr. Ben Cartwright. Number one for us, Mr. Cartwright? This Missy, pride to be. Well, I see. Shake hand with boss. How do you do? How do you do? Just like I say, you see, very pretty girl. Yes, she's a very pretty girl, Hop Singer. Well, no point in standing outside. Why don't we go inside the house? <laughs> Missy, not talk much to stranger. If I'm by, she know you better. She chatter like a blue jay. <laughs> <laughs> I've been to Miracle Creek many times. I never met anyone there by the name of Hamilton. Has your family lived there a long time? Not Miracle Creek. On the other side of the mountain. Oh, I see. Well, if you'll excuse me, I'll see how Hop Singh is coming along with the coffee. Coffee ready in a minute. Good. Horse track. Empty cookie jar. <laughs> Mr. Horse been here. Oh, I'm saying. Uh, you haven't met uh, Missy's people. I mean, you don't know them. No people. Just Missy. She was, uh, she was alone when you met her. All alone. Very hungry. After wedding, Missy helped Hop sing in kitchen. You get two cook for the price of one. Big bargain. Is that what Missy wants? Yes. Just what Missy wants. Excuse me. Oh. oh, 
wash a pot, no boil. Don't wash it, it boil over. Huh. <laughs> 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 Missy like Ponderosa. Uh, we have coffee, and then we go to Virginia City. Then we get license, then we get married. <clears throat> I'm saying, um, it, it may not be quite as simple as that. You see, there are laws regulating marriages, and uh, well, the license uh, may be a problem. Oh, why problem? Hop saying man, missy woman. It's a little more complicated than that. You see, the, uh, well, yours would be a, an interracial marriage, Chinese, Caucasian. Well, the law specifically prohibits such marriages. You make joke. Mr. Carlright, you make joke. I'm afraid it's true, Hop Singh. Why? Hop Singh good as any ranch hand. Ranch hand get married? Why not help sing? The law forbids it. Why they pass law against help sing? Well, it's not against you or Missy. It's against all interracial marriages. Mr. Cartwright, you ever make mistake? Yes, I've made my share. Then maybe you made mistake about law. You lend us buckboard. We go to Virginia City. We see lawyer. We find out. Well, I think you ought to do that, but I don't think you should take Missy with you. You keep buckboard. We walk. No, take the buckboard. I'll, I'll write a note to Judge Hill for you. If don't you need note. Hop saying no, Judge Hill. Take me back to the mine. Must talk to Judge Missy. No reason to be afraid. Can have a seat, please? Be a little while, Missy. Pretty soon, everything fine. is very clear. Interracial marriage between Caucasians and Chinese is prohibited by law. You mean we no can get license? You cannot. Up Singh, I've, I've known you for a long time. As Ben Cartwright's guest, I've eaten many of your fine meals. Believe me, I don't want you to get into trouble. You've got to give this up. Hop saying no give up. We get married without license. Tiny marriage. That's not a wise idea. If you get married in the United States, you'll both go to prison. 
Missy too? Missy too. I'm sorry, Hop Singh. Someday, maybe the laws will be changed. Change in time to help Hop Singh and Missy? Hop Singh no care about law. Hop Singh find a way. Come, Missy. Come, Missy. Sam. That coolie was chasing a white girl. Hop sing you. Ben, you want to press charges? Sam, you and you, I don't want to see any more. Now get it gone. That clear enough for the rest of you? Oh, move! Missy! Missy gone. Come on, we'll try and find her. No. Hop saying find Missy one time. Hop saying find Missy again. Mr. Cartwright, you lend me money for a pack outfit? Sure. Glad to see you. Oh, I'm glad to Sit see you. Sit down. Hop Singh, fix you some supper. No, I'm not hungry. Are you hurt? No, Hop Singh, fine. Oh. oh, hello, little friend. In your city. Very bad idea. So many people. Always people. Some not too very good. I still want to be your wife. You hear what judge say. We get married. We go to jail. Well, we could go to China and get married. 
We could go to China, cross a big ocean, and we could get married. Maybe so. Sell the horse, take stage to Sacramento, boat to San Francisco. Hobson can work for cousin in San Francisco. Earn enough money to buy ticket, go to China. Sacramento? San Francisco? Very big. Many people, just like Virginia City. China, big place too. Many people, everywhere. Chinese people, I like Hop Sing. Some, some like men in Virginia City. People same everywhere. Some good, some bad. Well, maybe it wouldn't be better not go away. Maybe we better stay here. Missy, people come here. Maybe not for a long while. Maybe next minute. Well, when they come, we just hide. We no can hide like little friend in hole. Missy take long walk, find this place. Maybe now, time for Missy to take long walk home to Mama, Papa. Yeah, you come with me. You have no trouble find this place from Virginia City. No trouble. You can find way home. Yeah. You come. You come. No. Number one cook belong at Ponderosa. No other place. Hop Sing saddle horses. Time for Missy to go home. No want Missy here. Go home. Go home. <laughs> Go home. Go on. Fried chicken for Mr. Horse, angel cake for little Joe, mashed potato for Jamie. And what can I do for number one boss of Ponderosa? Just a cup of your good coffee. Cup in cupboard, coffee on stove. Help yourself. You know, it won't do much good, but... I just want you to know how sorry we all are. Why sorry? Missy gone home? Hobson back at Ponderosa? No law broken? Oh, Mr. Hoss, hot biscuit. 
Missy happy, Hop Sing happy, then people and law spoil everything. Not first time Hop Sing been kicked and punched. For Hop Sing, it's a no matter. For Missy, it's very bad. Missy say she want to stay. Hop Sing tell her go home. Hopsing say, he no want her here. Hopsing, very big liar. Dark in about an hour. Better get some landings, huh? Yeah. Why don't we go on back to Ponderosa? Maybe they've seen something back there. Yeah. about wandering off on your own before. You know, try as I may, I can't break him of the habit. Dear Jess, and what does a minister do with a backsliding horse? Now, Pastor Avery. What have you done with the flowers that you were supposed to be? I seem to have dropped them. Well, I'll fetch them and you can keep an eye on the beast. All right. Something's wrong. Judith. Hey! Pastor, Miss Judith. Oh. Good evening, horse. We're out picking flowers for the church. Well, we're out looking for Jamie. Oh, my goodness. I, uh, I hope nothing's wrong. Well, we have reason to believe that he's been hurt. He's lost. He didn't take the roads. That's where we've been looking, in the roads between the schoolhouse and the Ponderosa. Well, well, we haven't been on the Tully Road. Little Joe's up there. Uh, well, we'll keep our eyes open and say a little prayer. And if there's anything else we can do, us let us know. Thank you, Pastor. And uh, thank you, Miss Judith. You mustn't let it trouble you, dear. Jess. Hmm? We'd better go back to town. It's getting late. So I'll just uh, pick up the flowers I dropped. I'm sure they'll find him before dark. Jamie. Up thing. Up thing. Uh, you get home yet? No. You not find him? No. What about the other men? Any of them get back? Shorty and Bates come back. 
They find nothing. I think we better send Paul a telegram. Didn't find nothing. Not a thing. Did you get a chance to talk to the school now? Said the same as the young and said. James been full of talk all day about picking blueberries. Yeah, we just got back from Marshall Bluffs. That's where she reckons he went to. Harv, right over and get that sent off to Paul, would he? Well, this thing might be over before you, Paul, can get back here from San Francisco. You sure you want to worry him about this? Yeah, we don't have any right to keep it from him. Yeah, you might drop by the bunkhouse and tell the men to get ready to form a search party for tonight. Tell them to be prepared to search all night if they have to. Thank you. This rock. It's Jamie's, isn't it? Yeah, it's his right. Take a look at this. Blood's dry. Yeah. No sign of blood on the ground. Yeah, apparently it stopped bleeding. We'll never pick up a trail in these rocks. Well, we just have to spread out and keep looking, that's all. Taught him the same way he taught me. If he's hurt or he's lost, he knows what to do. Yeah. But if he'd remembered and could, he'd be home by now, wouldn't he? And he ain't. What do you really think? I don't know what to think, Joe. I know we gotta keep up some hope. We gotta hope he's still alive. Of course, if that wound got infected, he could have blood poison, a fever. He could be holed up somewhere unconscious. I don't know. I don't know what to think. I'll tell you what. You take the other fellows and ride on south, make a sweep down that direction. I got another idea. And what? I'm going to go see Judith Corman. Look, Joseph, she knew he was hurt, and she knew he wasn't on the road. Of course she knew. She knew you were searching for him. That's why. No, no, no. Before I got there, she knew. It wasn't so much what she said as the way she said it. 
You can't believe in that stuff. It's like fortune telling. Well, Joe, we both know that she's been right in the past, don't we? Or lucky. Well, this time let's hope it ain't all luck. Judith, I have something I want to show you. Please, Hoss, don't do that. It's Jamie's kerchief. We found it out on the trail. Judith, when we met out on the road, before I even mentioned it, you knew that Jamie was lost. Just a guess, Hoss? Well, whatever you did know, though. It's just a feeling. Fine, a feeling, a, a power, whatever you... Don't call it power. Well, whatever. Judith, I need your help. You were right, Jamie was lost and he still is. I was right about that stagecoach in Montana too, wasn't I? You saw them run me out of there, they'll run me out of here. If I even try to do what you're asking me to do. Judith. This is just between the two of us. I've never mentioned that incident in Montana, and I never will. I can't. Judith. I want you to help me save Jamie's life. If those people in Montana had listened to you, they could have saved their lives. Well, I didn't want to know. I don't want to know things that make people frightened around me, and I don't want people coming around and asking me for help. Besides, sometimes when I know things, I don't always know what they mean. Well, let me decide what they mean. Sometimes I know things, and now I don't know anything. Judith, please try. Look, Hoss, I have, for the first time since I was nine years old, the first chance for real happiness. Jess Avery is going to go to London in three months. He offers me his love and a share in his peaceful world. Do you want to deny me that? I owe the Cartwrights a great deal. But I really do think that it's very unfair of you to ask. Yeah. Sorry. Good day, Judith.
Caught you. See how your little secrets come out? At last I found out that sometimes Judith Coleman does sit still. My mind was active. Does that count? <laughs> you know, I found no such flower in England. How do you keep them so fresh? That's one of my secrets. Is it? I know another one of your little secrets. You actually managed to get in to see old Mrs. Abernathy. Oh, yes, she is a dear, isn't she? Mm, an impossible old dear. You know, that's what she says about you. Me? What, impossible? Yes, she thinks you're a bit, uh... I know, she thinks I'm putting on airs and graces. She thinks I'm a visiting British intellectual. She obviously doesn't know me. And when she gets to know me, it'll be time for me to leave. Well, you needn't worry. They'll all come round. No. I'm the one who has to come round. And I will, with your help. Neither is the man without the woman, nor the woman without the man in the Lord. You're quoting again? Yes, that's uh, St. Paul's first epistle to the... to the Romans, I think. I find it much easier to quote his words than uh, use my own, especially when I'm writing a sermon. Words are so meaningless. Aren't they? I'm sorry, Jess, I didn't mean what you just said. I just mean that... Well, I guess I mean that there is another sense. Where words are just... Well, they're not good enough, are they? What's troubling you, Judith? Won't you tell me? I mean, this isn't like you. I'm sorry, Jess. It's just one of my moods. I have them occasionally. I hope they'll only be occasionally. Well, I... I expect you to be human. As I hope sometimes uh, you will forget that uh, I'm a minister. Can you forget that you are? Well, I'll try. your future husband. Won't you tell me what's wrong? The boy, Jamie Cartwright, that's... What? Well, that's really all that it is, Jess, that's all. Don't worry about him. I mean, they'll find him. Yes, but suppose they don't. Then we'll pray. We'll have a prayer meeting. We must have faith, Judith. You know, faith can move mountains. Suppose... You were another way. But there couldn't be another way, could there? There isn't another way, of course not. All set? Right. All out, folks. She's ready to roll. I sure hope you get there in time. I mean, that they find him. Yeah, thank you. I should appreciate you speeding up the relay. No. You worked as hard as anyone hooking them horses up. Maybe you could slip a little to the driver. He's got the hard chore ahead. I'll do that. And I'll uh, spell him a bit if he needs it. Don't forget to telegraph Virginia City. Give him your best estimate as to when we'll be getting in. All right. string. This horse. 
Follow the stream. Follow the stream. Anybody, but you have young lady wait for you. Oh. Miss Judith. Oh, hello, Horace. Guess I've only been thinking of myself, haven't I? Oh, you're here. That's all that counts. Sit down, please. Thank you. He must be cold. Something's come to you. His shoulders hurt. He, he maybe fell? No, I'm, I'm sorry, Hoss. Something's hurt him. Something big. Like a bear? There's bear up in those woods when the blueberries are ripe. They don't normally attack, but they will. They me awful mean. Could that be it? I knew that you were going to come back to me if you didn't find him. Hoss, it, it is so... Easy for me to misinterpret what I see, or, or for people to misinterpret what I say I see. They make it into whatever they want it to be, you see. And that's why they think it's something ugly in me. <laughs> well, but you've always used it right. I mean, you've helped people with it. You're helping us now. Well, at least I know now that I can't stop and I can't run away to England. That was just a foolish dream. You haven't told Jess about this? You know what he'll say the minute he finds out. You've told him nothing about it? Do you know who led that mob that drove me out of Montana? A minister, Hoss. A righteous man of the cloth. Yeah, but he was no, no Jess Avery. Hot coffee! Uh, here, why don't you take your wrap off and sit down? Thank you. And a little food. Good. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. You know, Hoss, I've never understood why this thing happens to me or how it happens to me. But it uses me. I don't use it. Well, I hope that, that you decide that you can help us. And if you do, I promise you that it'll be between just the two of us. It must be, Hoss. It's not just a matter of my losing Jess. That's just a dream. But if this town finds out, then I have to leave. And it means running again, and maybe not finding friends like the Cartwrights. You want a better promise? I suppose I do. Well, I'd like to promise you the world, Judith. But I can't do that, obviously. But I want Jamie back, and I want him back bad. I promise you that if anybody finds out about it, you won't have to run. All right, Hoss. This afternoon, I was out riding. And I saw a little red-headed boy fall to the ground. I was thinking of Jamie. And I got an impression of bubbling water. Bubbling water, like a creek or a spring. Yeah. There's three creeks out at Washoe Bluffs. Well, uh, is any one of them in particular a favorite of his? No, not that I know of. Is there something that stands 
slender, something I think he's very fond of. Like a tree? Um, yes, but it's smaller and it sways. And I, you know, I feel that it belongs to him. A feather? A feather, that's yeah. it, it's a feather. He's got a feather in his hat. Uh, and he, he bends and he drinks, and he drinks water. Yeah, and what? Oh, I'm sorry, Oz, I can't tell you anything more than I know. I know it's so little to go on. No, no, no. It's quite a bit, it's a pleasure to start on. Cause nothing has meant more to me than the friendship and the kindness of the Cartwrights. Judith, I think you should consider telling Jess about this. I, I know him and I think he'll understand. No, Hoss, no, he won't. Anything? No. Where's Haas? He's up ahead somewhere. I don't know why we're looking here anyway. Haas has his reasons or we wouldn't be here. Seems to me we've already lost half a day. out there, you'll have to leave a trail. <laughs> Nothing down here but me and a played out horse. Hoss is working his way upstream. Why don't you work your way through the woods? We'll meet back where Hoss found a hat. Well, he had everything right so far, anyway. Yeah. Then he went straight into the woods. I've told him a thousand times when he's lost to stay out of the woods. And he lost his trail once, we'll find it again. Yeah, the same way. I'm gonna go get Judith. Oh, come on, Hoss. We'd have followed this stream anyway. We'd have found the hat without her. I don't think so, Joseph. She said a stream or a spring. I don't think I'd ever come this far from Marshall Bluffs. You take them in, send them on in. What do you mean send them in? I gotta protect her secret, Joe, and I don't think she'd ever come down here if she thought those men were here. All right, I'll send them back for fresh horses, but I'm not gonna keep them from coming back out here. An hour's all we need. Head back to the ranch, get fresh mounts. Message from Mr. Cartwright. He'll be on the stage at seven o'clock. Wants his horse left here. Joe says for him come straight to Masaka Lake. Ain't found the boy yet, huh? No, but if we do, in the meantime, we'll let you know. Hey, Hob. Pastor Avery, have you had any success yet? Some, but not enough. Oh boy, you must all be exhausted. We are, sir, but we got to keep trying. Hey, Hav. Yes. 
He's climbing. Could he be climbing? Well, where would he climb? Just up, Joe. A wounded animal will always climb. I can't believe he'd climb, not in the shape he's in. That's probably just the reason he's doing it. If the boys hurt bad, he'd head for the high country. I will start at the top. I'll work down. I saw him in a dark place. You mean like, like a cave? No. Pause it. Well, it could be something worse. Now, you're doing what you told me not to do. Trying to make something out of nothing, maybe. Isn't that Miss Corman down there? Yes. I wonder what she's doing here. Joe found something. Sounds like someone found something. What are you doing here? I'm just trying to help. Oh. Well, hasn't someone told you? Why else would you know to come? Uh, these people are my parishioners. It's my duty to be here. Oh, yes, it's your duty to warn the wicked away from her way before she dies of her iniquities. It's usually shouted at me. I'm sorry, I don't quote it quite correctly. It's from Leviticus, isn't it? Or is it Deuteronomy? I don't understand you, Judith. I... I've never shouted the scriptures at you. I thought you had a faith that was fine and strong. Why do you mock it now? I don't mock it. The things that happen to me make my faith only stronger. Don't talk riddles, sir. Just give me a simple explanation. Very well. Simply, I see things. I see things and I know things other people don't see and don't know. How? Ah. I don't know how. I don't know. My mother called it second sight. But whatever it is, I'm not pretending. I don't pretend, especially with a child's life. Judith. <laughs> Do you really believe that you have this boy's life in your hands? Jess, I'm not asking for it. People come to... Oh, no, Jess, no. No, 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 not my hands. God's hands. Oh, Judith. Do you really believe that you have special powers? Not power, Jess. Don't say power. I don't want power. How can I make you understand that what I see, I know. I know it as surely as I know that I am or that God is. And when you were talking to Hoss just now, were you telling him something you think you've seen? Yes, that I think I've seen. And I'm going to find him and tell him. Judith! 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 Judith, look, we have to talk. Well, not now. Please, the Cartwrights are in desperate need. Look, the Cartwrights are expert trackers. They're woodsmen. They're plainsmen. They don't know where to look. 
And you do? Yes, I have seen. Then we'll try and find that place together, you and I. But don't lead the Cartwrights off on a wild goose chase. Jess, you don't believe me. Now you have a chance to prove yourself. <laughs> Let up some. He's been gone here about an hour. Harv, you go on up where Joe is and see if he's found anything. I want to look around here for a while. Jamie! Jamie! Hot! Where are you? Over here, Pastor! We heard a shot. Any news yet? Well, we, we found a trail. I don't know how long it's going to last. Harv told me you were going to come out and help us. Yeah. Pastor, this is my doings. I put her under a great deal of obligation. I understand. Look, Hoss, uh, if you found a trail, uh, I'm sure you'd like to follow it. Uh, we'll stay here and rest a while. Thank you. Hoss, um, I'd like to tell you something. Judith. There's something I've seen. Possibly you will have recognized it. It's, it's shaped like the hat. There's a, a tree that stands against the sky. It's like the feather. Like a lone tree? Yes, only it's growing out of, out of boulders. Well, I, I ain't seen nothing like that so far, Judith, but if I do, I'll recognize it. Thank you. Is that where he is? Thank you. Judith, I thought we agreed not to involve the Cartwrights. I don't think that we agree about hardly anything at this point. Well, let's try. Do you agree that perhaps you should have told me about this, um, this second sight? Perhaps. Well, why didn't you? Because... I was afraid of losing him. And I didn't want to take the chance. I mean, how could you know? I mean, I... I trusted you. Uh, that's why I asked you to marry me. I think perhaps you owed me a little trust in return. All right. All right. Suppose that I had told you what I told you today. Would you have reacted any differently than you did just right now? No. Oh, no, I would have said... Uh, I would have said, believe what you want to believe, but don't involve others. Well, they involve me. Yes, I know, but supposing the boy is found dead five miles away from the place you told him to look, could you live with that? Could I live with not telling them what I think I see, oh, and then he would be found alive? Look, don't play God. Apparently you don't believe in what I'm doing. No, no, I don't. No. You are not the first minister to call me witch or accursed and to cast me out. But don't you worry, Jess. A witch would never consider marrying a man of the cloth. Hey, wait, Harv. This way. That way? Yeah. What would you do if you was lost, Harv? It's what I told Jamie, I imagine. Take an objective. A goal you can keep your eyes on. You get to it, make another goal. There you go. Just like that big knob rock up there, that lone pine out of it. Come on. Was. 
Paz. Paz. I'm so cold. It's all right. It's all right, little buddy. Man, you're a mite hungry, too, aren't you? Joe. Joe. You'll be all right. You know, I, I, I got to thank you for helping to look for me. Don't thank me. Thank your brothers. Why, they never gave up searching for you. Not for a second. And everybody searched day and night. Yes, ma'am, I know. Why don't you get some sleep, huh? Okay. Oh, wait a minute, not yet. The doctor said you had to take some of this, little brother. All right. There you go, drink him right down. Very good. Thank you, Hans. Good night, pal. Good night. Thank you. Well, I just didn't know there was so much prejudice in this part of the country. Well, you have it in your small English villages, don't you? Yes, but uh, we gave up burning witches years ago. Well, so did we. Oh, I don't know. I don't suppose the time will ever come when people won't fear the strange and mysterious. Well, I pray for that day. And work for it too, Pastor. I agree. Tell me. Do you honestly, seriously believe that Judith found your son? Well, I guess that's not as important as the fact that she believes it. And Horst believes it. That Jamie is here now. Tell me. What do you believe? I'm not sure. I do know, though, that in every other way, Judith is a very extraordinary woman. Yes, she is. Well, I think I'll look in on Jamie. He's finally fallen off to sleep. Joe and Horst just won't leave him. I think you and Jess have a great deal to talk about. <laughs> 